On behalf of expert belly chair Jean Pree, I'm Gloria Van Workham and I'm here helping Rebecca. She's a wig and I'm teaching her how to style and if she needs it trimmed we're going to show her how to trim it. We do that here but we do have a lot of clients that like to trim themselves, like to do. So I'm going to show you some important steps in trimming and cutting. If you need to thin the hair at all, we take the hair out, pull it all the way out to the base. And if you, if you want to thin it, take some thinning shears, take your thinning shears and put the shinning shears next to the scalp and cut. And that will, that will give you that little bit thinner look without making stubbles all over there. So you just go through the whole area of the wig. Take it, take it, cut it, pull it down, go to the next step, cut it. Always take it right to the base. Very important. If you're going to trim a hair, the hair on, the, on any wig, Make sure you always leave it just a little bit longer than you'd want. If you decide you want to cut it an inch, leave it just a fraction of an inch longer. So that way you can go back and trim it off if you want. If you don't do that, you're going to take too much off and for some reason or another it just doesn't grow back. Although we'd like it to. So what you do with your bangs is you take a bang down if you want to trim your bang. Pull it all the way down and hold it a little bit longer than you'd want it and then just go ahead and cut that off. Pull it back, look at it, and then pull it down again. If you feel like you need to go through it and cut it a little bit more, do that as, you, as you're cutting. Do not cut too much too fast. So, and then if you're if trimming anywhere along the head, it's just like you're going to do a regular haircut. Just trim it very uh, slowly. And just make sure you never take off more than you want to. Always leave it just a little bit longer than you want. Normally, I, I always cut uh, with the thinning shears. I, sometimes I'll even cut the length with the thinning shears, depending on the style of the hair. If you're going to wear a blunt style like this, you'll, you'll do the scissors. If you're going to do a curly one, then use your thinning shears. That works a lot better.